Welcome back. Two videos ago, I mentioned that NPM is a software registry which contains packages published by developers from all over the world. It helps us leverage other people's work to solve our problem at a rapid pace. In this video, let's learn how to install an NPM package in our Node.js project. First, let me mention that I am looking for a package that is going to convert our log statement text to uppercase. I know we can do this with a built-in JavaScript method, but the intention is to make you familiar with the concept of installing a package from the NPM registry. Step one, we need to identify a package that serves the purpose. Head over to npmjs.com and in the search input, I'm going to type upper, as that is a good enough keyword to start with. Our top suggestion here is upper hyphen case, which transforms the string to uppercase. I'm going to select this first suggestion. Step two, we need to assess whether this is a good package that we can use in our project. There is no set rule, but let me give you a few guidelines that I follow to judge whether I can proceed with installing a particular package. First, I look at the publish date. Typically, I would hope for something that is less than a year, but given the nature of this package, which is to simply convert a string to uppercase, there is no need for new features to be added. So I am comfortable with published date being two years ago. The second thing I look for is the weekly downloads metric. If it is in millions, you can take it for granted it is a pretty good package that is used by a lot of developers. Few hundred thousands is also fine. However, if it is hundreds or low thousands, I would probably keep searching to see if I can find something better. Third, I look at the package size. When you install a package, you're basically increasing the size of your project as well. Large packages may bloat your own project bundle size, which is something you should be careful about. Lower the size, better it is for your project. There's never a good package size, but a few kilobytes is something you don't have to worry about if the package is crucial for your project. Finally, a few miscellaneous factors I look for are good documentation and fewer issues. The package we have here checks all the boxes for me, so let's proceed to the next step. For step three, we're going to install the package using the npm CLI. The command is right here on this page. It is a little outdated though, as dash dash save is not required anymore. Copy npm install upper hyphen case, head back to VS Code, and within the project folder, paste the command. After running the command, you will see a progress bar as npm fetches the package. The package will be downloaded from the registry and installed in a folder called node modules. In package.json, a dependencies field will be created and updated with the package name and installed version. In our case, the version is 2.0.2. .2. You will also see a package.json file created, which will happen whenever you add your first dependency. For subsequent packages, the same file will be updated. This file simply keeps track of the packages and versions installed in a project, ensuring there is no inconsistency when someone else installs the same packages. So this is how we install an NPM package in our project. On a side note, if you want to uninstall a package, you can run npm uninstall followed by the package name, which is uppercase in our scenario. As an exercise, I want you to run this command and observe the changes in package.json, package.lock.json, and the node modules folder. Pause the video and give it a try. All right, in the next video, let's learn how to use this uppercase package that we have just installed. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.